Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. I was asked one time, why do you have such a simplified Bible class? Why don't you give me the Greek words? Why don't you give me the, you know, hidden sayings? Well, I believe the Word of God is very practical. And I believe that if you see this video and watch it, uh, that you'll be able to take that which is applied and which is given by the Word of God and apply it into your situation today. Now listen to what it says in James 4, 7, right through to verse number 10. It says this, But God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Then he goes on to say, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I love this portion of Scripture. And the reason I love this verse is because it tells us the secret of opposing and overcoming the devil. And that is submitting. That means giving your life to him, yielding your life, letting him not only be Savior, but Lord as well. Saying, Lord, my time, my talents, my treasures, my past, my present, my future, Everything that I am, everything that I have, everything I'm going to be, I'm giving to you today. When the devil sees that, he has no place to work in your life. His accusations will fail. His, his temptation will fail. His uh, deception will fail. Because you got your eyes focused on the Lord. You know, we all sing that song, Oh, to see his face. But you know, when you look into the face of the Lord, what do you see? You see total acceptance total love, and total forgiveness. That's why when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Because those are not his operation. The Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to rob, kill, and destroy. And the second part of that verse is so beautiful. It says, Jesus says, I've come to give you life, and I've come to give it to you abundantly. That's why James can say, submit yourself therefore to God. When you resist the devil, and that's what we talk about is the word pugilism, or the, you know, to box is the Greek word. There's your Greek word for today. It means punch him in the face, man. Give him a straight arm for Jesus. And the Bible says because he's a coward, he will run from you. Now, I love that one little scripture in, in Peter which says, the devil goes around like a roaring lion. Seeking who might devour. But the marvelous thing is, and I remember Pastor Stan Lavora said, well, just you, know, you guys need to know, the devil's had his teeth kicked out. And that is true. Jesus disar disarmed the devil and his cohorts. Then it comes this, verse number 8, listen to this. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Isn't that a great promise? You draw near to God. And he will draw near to you. Many prophetic utterances I've heard over the years are talking about coming and drawing near to God. You know that wonderful, uh, the last few verses of Revelation chapter 22, five different times God says, come, come. And that's what James is saying. He says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Or in some translations it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. He says, wash your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. He says, listen, purify your hearts, wash your life and get rid of all that stuff that's in there because God does not want that in you. As we learn from the first chapter of James, he says one of the illustrations that so shows that you have real religion is that you keep yourself from being polluted by the world. Then he goes on to says, grieve, mourn, and wail. He says, understand, you need to be sorry for your sins. Now many of us, we when we come to the Lord, we say, Lord, will you please forgive me? And with your help, I will not do it again. But the reality is, we're really not sorry for our sins. If we have a chance, we'll do it again. That's worldly sorrow. God wants us to be truly repentant. We're truly sorry for what we've done. We've hurt Him and we have hurt ourselves. And in turn, we can hurt others as well. That's why we need to do that. He says, change your laughter in the morning and your joy in the gloom. Don't laugh at sin. Don't weak, wink at sin. Don't sit there and say, oh, I just let it slide. It's just a little sin. It's lying. It's cheating. No one's going to know. Listen, folks. You need repentance is true living sorry for what you do and also the determination that you're not going to do it again. Then listen to this. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. What a great promise. 
The old song says, Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. This is what James is saying today. Turn away from those things that are hurting you and God. Come to the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I truly am sorry. And you know what? He will lift you up, and he will touch your life, and he will minister to you in his grace. What a great promise from the Word of God. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.